it was something interesting that you said earlier too. So you said that when you was in the academy that y'all was given the preference to pick the precinct, even though you, it wasn't guaranteed. Yeah, you get like a precinct. So I was wondering with that. So the white officers are directly picking the hood? No, 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 no. You ain't directly picking the hood, but you said like if you uh like from Coney Island, all right, I want Brooklyn. So remember, every part of Brooklyn ain't the hood. They could give me the 8-4, that's downtown Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? So you could pick like, okay, give me Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Staten Island. Like you get like three picks like that. Like where would you would want to work? Mm -hmm. But if you don't get those, at the end of the day, for the most part, a lot of times we go to the hoods because not with the crime rates and stuff. If they go by the crime rates, certain precincts need more officers than certain officers. So you know how that go. So say like if Midtown South, which is like 42nd Street, if they had an opening, just hypothetically speaking, they probably only had like an opening for five people. We had, when I was in academy, it was 2,000 officers. Mm -hmm. So you know how that go. Yeah. How come we don't see more black officers that's from the urban city working in the suburbs? Oof. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know, man. I well, think, I'm just trying no, to no, figure no, it out because we have but, so many suburb so cops yeah. that's working in urban areas that they have no familiarity with. Well, how come we don't have urban people so, working there? If I had to answer that question, I would say like this. A lot of them is from Long Island. So when you NYPD, we only cover the five boroughs. So a lot of them that's coming from Long Island, Suffolk County, and all that stuff like that, what I did learn or experience, it's a generational thing. Sometimes a lot of them don't even want to be officers, but their grandfather was an officer, their father's a detective. Yo, you better go get that job. So it's a little, so that's why you get a lot of them that's from like Long Island, Orange County, Westchester, and stuff like that. A lot of times it's something with their family, so they, they got to get the jobs. So it's no choice for them to work in the inner city. But coming from the inner city, a lot of times what I'm going to say, a lot of us don't want these jobs. And I think that's what the downfall is. Like with me even telling my story, I don't want to discourage none of us from getting a job. I want us to get the job and do the right thing. But coming from the urban communities and we seeing how they talk to us, how they treat us, sometimes people don't, even if I am qualified, I don't want no part of that. Look how they treat my people. Why would I want to be a part of that? So I think it's more of that. It's a lot of time we are qualified, but we don't want the job. Yeah. But I, you got these people who are qualified. Like I'm saying, you know, they got gener. This is our generation. This is what we do. We all was officers. Everybody pitches up. They detective. They retired. You better go get that job. So a lot of that, and I feel like coming from our communities, a lot of us are not pushed to get them type of jobs. Even if our families are in the jobs, because even when I told you when I took the test. I didn't want to take the test. My mother was like, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. But a lot of time, we rather do other jobs opposed to being police officers. Like, I've lost a lot of friends. Never forget, I was in a supermarket. They got this thing called paid detail where certain places need security, but they hire cops. I was doing that. I was in a supermarket in Brownsville. It was easy. I always used to get it. Not too far from my house. I seen one of the kids I went to junior high school with. He saw me. He like, Really? Out of everything in the world it be, you became a cop. That was the last time he spoke to me. So I'm just saying, so, you know, depending on where you're from, your morals, how you love your community, how you love your family, a lot of time, even family members, when you take certain jobs, it's like you break that trust or you're a traitor. Why is that? Why do our community feel that when we have gone... Um the same community get um, an officer job that we become traders. Why, why do you think that is embedded in the minds of the people? Because coming from the urban communities, for the most part, from even from what I've seen, the cops is not really helping us. From our perspective, they harassing us, they bothering us, so they the enemy to us. I can't say that growing up in Brownsville, I actually seen a police officer's help somebody. You understand? All the interactions I saw was traumatic interactions. They bothering us. They harassing us. So it's always, excuse me, the bad side we see because the neighborhood we from. But clearly, would you agree that's a myth though, right? 
the experience the or experience? the idea? The, the, I feel, the, so, the, um, I'm saying it's a myth that like this whole thing that cops don't do any good. No, I think, you know, no, that is a yeah. myth. Yeah, that's, that yeah. Part, I that part, is a myth. Yeah, that's, I think yes. the experience of not witnessing it Depending that, on where you live at. Yeah. It depends on where you yes. live yeah. and what your experiences was. Because if you're not an active criminal, usually your interactions with the PD have been because of where you live. Lived. You just see it. And like, you, you might know. observed an incident. Um, you you may... walking in a building and I'm just saying, something happened in the building and they got to stop everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. They not probably being to you, but some cops could be nasty. I'm coming from school, but because whatever they dealing with, give me your ID, where you live, you know. So mm-hmm. it's not all the time, but depending on the neighborhoods, because it's people that live in neighborhoods, certain neighborhoods and never had certain interactions. Like um, when I had went to school, went to college, my college, uh, Globe Institute of Technology, the dorms was actually in Staten Island. When I like lived on it, since I was in athletics, I wanted to live on the dorms. I lived on the dorms. It was a different world. Like living in Staten Island and being there for college and the campus, and, and like it was different. We was just like, yo, they put the campus in Staten Island because they knew. Not saying things don't happen in Staten Island, but where we was at, if you got in trouble, you had to be looking to go get in trouble. You understand what I'm saying? So certain neighborhoods, it ain't. Be- I believe that they don't have that experience. But I grew up in the inner in the city. In Brownsville, in one of the notorious, baddest, you know, a, a complex in that area. So I seen a lot that probably somebody that grew up in Borum Hill, Brooklyn, probably didn't see. I think that um, if you know, you got bad and good almost and everything, but I think that without law enforcement, we would actually be. You know, it would be chaos. You know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, law enforcement, no matter how bad we look at it, it does keep order. It is a deterrent. You know, one of the things that we are experiencing right now in New York is that um, we have a lot of shootings and that did not happen in me and your generation when we was growing up. Not that it wasn't murders, Mm -hmm. because it was when it needed to be. But we didn't experience this, you know, the shootings randomly the way they're going on in New York now. Every time a little kid pulling out a gun and popping off, having these big, broad shootouts. And the reason why is because when we grew up, we had TNT. You know what I'm saying? We had different officers that, you know, that stop and frisk thing was not an issue the way it was. And the officers enforced constantly on the street fear to where if you was a black person and you went outside your door, you knew it was a 50-50 chance. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? That you was going to be stopped that day and get patted down. That's just how it was when we was growing up. Now the kids is looking more like an 80-20 chance that they get stopped by police and get patted down. And that have up the crime rate and the shooting rate. Well, I could well, agree. We also have to look at why TNT was dismantled. But can we say this too? No, yeah. can't. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. No. But let's just say this too. Like, even with my situation, I don't hate the NYPD. But it's good and bad and everything. Yeah. So yes. nothing said, is always gonna be perfect. Yes. But I understand what he's saying. So now they doing this thing where oh let's de uh, let's uh, defund the police and all that stuff. We do need the police. We do. Not mm-hmm. all the police are bad. Not you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But I feel like they do need better training. But I can have the best training in the world. But if I'm scared or really not, because we gotta go through a psych and all of that. So not anybody could just be a cop. But if you smart and you educated, anybody could be the site. You understand what I'm saying? Unless you really out your mind. But if you got the best training in the world and you still in fear, that's where a lot of things could go wrong. I could have the best training, but now if I see you, it's because a lot of people see you a big black guy. They automatically scared. You're black, you're big, you're tall. So now I'm so scared, just hypothetically speaking, I'm not thinking training. I'm thinking so. So now... In the training, I'm supposed to talk to you a certain way and do something a certain way, but now the fear go up and I do something wrong. But I do believe that if we had the police presence like back in the days, 
it wouldn't be what's going the on way, now. The way it is now. But, yeah. you know, it, it, we got to give and take. We got to give and take. Got to find a balance. 